Hey everyone, welcome to class number two for PSM Around Guidance Tool. Today we're going to speak about compliance with standards and see how we can apply PSM RM for our requirements. Okay, first, in case you don't know yet, what is Process Safety Management Roadmap or PSM RM? It's a disciplined and consistent element by element access to the complete risk based process safety management process expectation guidance. It's a guidance where you will have everything in one place. Some people that is already using PSMRM saying that anyone who wants to implement review or train people on process safety management but don't know, not, don't know where, where to start, PSMRM works like crazy and we are, we are always thankful to Paul Reed, safety culture consultant that is using our tool and is amazing on how they are having results with this. Okay, today what PSMRM says about compliance with standards, just let me go a little bit here and I will go to the, to the tool. For example, I have a couple of requirements here, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just let me go out a little bit and I will go to PSMRM element two. Just let me go here. I will click here. Let me put this. Okay, PSMRM. Uh, as I always mention, remember that you have your roadmap, your gap analysis, in case you go to element number two, just we will go here, we will close element number one, and we will open element number two. For element number two, you're supposed to complete a couple of activities here, some requirements. We have 200, over 200 requirements for the gap analysis, but for this one, Element number two, you have five requirements that you're supposed to complete. I will assume that you went through this and we are jumping directly to element number two. Element number two, as I explained in class number one, is the elements or the worksheets are divided in key principles, essential features, work activities, element metrics, ways to improve effectiveness of your action and management review. Every element will have different work activities that you're supposed to have in place, and this is what we're gonna check today. Just let me show you what we are saying here. We are saying for element number two, this is number two, is identify all sources and applicability of process safety obligations, voluntary or required, and required. And then we can play a little bit here. Number four is saying that is here. Number four, identify all sources and applicability of process safety obligations, voluntary and required. This is part of the essential feature, identify when standards compliance, compliance is needed. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, let's say, suggest some sort of game-based learning for your students or anybody that is getting this training, you can play with them and see what are the elements that can be connected to this requirement. Because to identify the source of an applicability, maybe we need certain things around element three, element six, element seven, etc. Let's see what's element three. Element three is, just one, let me check. Element three, process safety competency. We need people competent before we, uh, then we, we talk about element seven or six, just let me check here, element six. So it's, this is just to give you an example, uh, and element six, we are talking about process knowledge management. We need somebody that knows the process. We need somebody that is competent to review the standards that we're supposed to apply. Okay, let's go back to element two. Element two, four, we went already the game. You can keep connecting elements and see what is applicable. And 14 says, let's go to 14. 14, and the essential feature is provide appropriate input to standard activities, solicit needs from within the company concerning standards, changes, or to or interpretation of standards or other new initiatives. We need somebody, we need a focal point basically, where we can ask questions about the interpretation of the standard that we're supposed to apply. And then there's another one, we have many, but it's just to give you a couple of examples, provide feedback to management concerning the compliance status. This is another thing that's very important, 24 is part of the 
essential feature determine compliance status periodically as required and provide a status report to management because sometimes we adopt standards that is not possible to apply and that is very important because we need to highlight we need to flag these kind of situations where we require certain or uh, for the steps that's why it's important i'll give you an example now we know how we apply PSR, PSM RM, we bring all the requirements, we cross check where we are with the requirements in our organization. We have certain elements that we need to connect and we keep training on those elements. And then we have one more thing that are the lesson learns. The lesson learns basically is where we learn on, based on situations that happen in the industry where we suffer or where we cannot apply the standards that we're supposed to apply, and, and at the end we are facing major accidents or fatalities or things like that. That's why in the lesson learned, I'll give you one case that is very common in our industry, very, very common, that is I don't have a double block and bleed. Why I'm saying this, there are many standards that, are, that require you to have double block and bleed for certain isolation purposes. However, there are many facilities that were built many, many years ago that didn't consider this kind of requirement at that stage of their design, because at that stage of their design, this requirement was not there. It's something that we face quite a lot in the industry. We are having people that says, what can I do? Shall I comply? I don't want to stop my plant. I don't want to stop. I have to remove a PSB, a process safety valve. However, I don't have the double block and I cannot remove it. I have to delay the maintenance. I have to stop when, or I have to wait until the next turnaround, or I have to wait until the next shutdown of that equipment. I don't want to lose production, etc., etc. And that is when you can go back to class number one, where we discuss about the process, the management dilemma. However, it's very common that we cannot comply with standards. And there are many, many incidents in the industry because of this. Here, uh, I will read something that is available on the CSB, and you will find a list of incidents that are related to this. But preparing equipment for maintenance is a major cause of serious incidents in plants of all types. And the chemical industry, and I will add the oil and gas industry as well. Just let me, let me, let me add it now that we have the class. Chemical industry and oil, oil and gas industry. 30% of incidents are maintenance related with half involving the release of harmful substance. A more recent study, a more recent study in the refining industry concludes that 50% of process safety incidents occur during transient or non-routine operations or plant operations that infrequently occur. Wow, that is a huge list. Here you will find, I just put a, a list that is including 15 incidents. However, we have around 30 available. You will have the different kind of incidents where, let's say, was the, the activity that they were performing, the maintenance phase, and the consequence. Unfortunately, we have many fatalities behind these kind of things. That's why, guys, the idea of this class is show you how we can use the PSMRM tool to identify requirements, how we can learn from previous experience where that requirement was not possible to apply because in this particular case, that plan was not designed based on that requirement and how we can manage that risk, how we can assess that risk, how we can go ahead and how we're supposed to proceed. It's, it's important to keep producing, we are relaxing a little bit the safety of that facility. Well, that is something that you need to check. That's why we always say that safety is not the absence of accident. Safety is the presence of safeguards. 
it's very important that for you to take that into account. PSMRM is a huge tool where you will have the perfect guidance to be sure that what you're supposed to have in place, to be sure that the competence of or the understanding of your people is in place, is there in one place and everything at once at once for you available and something that you can just go and grab it. Remember, you can download PSMRM at psm101.com. I would be pleased to have you either downloading our PSMRM tool or being part of our academy. PSM is focused on process safety management and human performance. I hope that you enjoyed this class. Please stay tuned. Next class coming soon. I'll see you all inside. Take care, guys. Bye.